going to my audition. Going to make a baby. Good luck. Good luck to you, too. Hi. Hi. Are you all right? Uh, I feel like I was just hit by a bus. Did you see the guy who attacked me? Yeah. He was 12, 5, 500 pounds. Big bulb on the top of his head. <laughs> Crazy. Who is late for their own insemination? Hi, it's Will. Is Grace there by any chance? Well, if she shows up, would you call me? Thank you. Is that her office? No, Benny's Taco on East 74th. <laughs> you see, I told you this was faster. You wanted to take the crosstown cow. How do you have a horse in Manhattan? I run them in the park, you know? Some weeks we ride, some weeks we just get a pretzel. Oh, oh, we're here for Parking spot. Score! Just slide on down. I'll catch you. I got you. Wow, you know, some people can't do that gracefully. Hi. Hi. Thank you. I'm Leo Marcus, by the way. Grace Adler. Maybe I could take you out sometime, you know? Buy you dinner or... You're asking me in? <laughs> oh, you're laughing in my face. That's yeah. No, it's good. Guys like that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not laughing at you. It's um. See, I'm I'm about to. Uh, oh, <laughs> just ironical. So, dinner? No. Uh, look, Mr. Marcus. The Dr. Marcus. Uh, Dr. Mark. Doctor. <laughs> yeah, I know it's pretty boring. I'm just a nice, average Jewish doctor. Uh, look, I really, really have to. Jewish? <laughs> I gotta go before I find out you come for money. Grace Adler, what are you doing here? You didn't hit your head on that coffee urn, did you? <laughs> Leo, hi, where are you going here? <laughs> it's fate. Once in a lifetime, the stars line up to bring two people together. That and my office is right there. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm joining you. What? Small talk. You know, a little back and forth. I just went, now you go. <laughs> Leo. Is it my turn already? <laughs> you know, heart pumps are tricky. Your turn. <laughs> Okay, I get it. You're fun, but I'm, I'm just not dating. I've got a lot, a lot on my plate right now. A lot I need to focus on. Okay, all right. I get it. No, no date. Well, at least let me have a look at your gash. <gasps> that is the rudest thing. Uh, on your head, <laughs> from the lamp post. I knew. Ow, ow, easy, easy, come still. on. How's it look? It looks good. Looks very good. Okay, doctor, feel good. <laughs> Time to go operate on someone else. L let me just give you something to help it heal, Ben. It's a topical cream. Just put a little bit on two or three times a day. That's, that's all. Have dinner with me tonight. Gee, tonight, I don't know. I, 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 I have a lot on my plate right now, a lot I need to focus on, so. Goodbye. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was looking for Grace Adler. I thought that no, she... No, no, you're right. She lives here. Oh, OK. Um, she left a wallet in the coffee shop. Ah, oh, thanks. She'll be glad to have that back. It's got a frequent frozen yogurt card in it. <laughs> just, just tell her Leo dropped it off. Thanks. Does she know you? Well, we, we met in the coffee shop today, and a couple of days ago, I helped her when she ran into a lamppost. Oh, wait. You're that doctor from the park. Right. You're that... that horse guy. <laughs> Geez, you, you ride a horse one time, and all of a sudden, you're that horse guy. <laughs> and you're, what, her, her uh, 
housekeeper. <laughs> I? Well, let's see. I'm the one that's been in her life for 15 years. I'm the one she lives with. I'm the one she's having a child with. So you want to stick around and ask her out to a movie, or are you pretty much set? Horse guy. No, I'm pretty much set. It's in there two minutes, and I read an entire Us magazine. <laughs> Leo dropped this off. Oh, thank God. Got my frequent frozen yogurt card in it. <laughs> what? Aren't you happy for me? Where am I? What's going on? You. I know you. You work here? I'm Sheila, your nurse. I used to work at the sperm bank where you tried to have a gay baby or the donor was gay. I don't know, it's super gay. <laughs> what happened to me? The doctor found some weird cells and so he did a biopsy on your left breast. <gasps> Wait, left. <gasps> oh, that's the big one. So are you telling me I have... Cancer. I mean, you might have cancer. There's a very, very, very slim chance that you have it. You're supposed to lead with that. I'm... I'm taking this really well. Why am I taking this really well? Because you're coming out of very heavy sedation. Mm. We called your emergency contact. He's waiting outside. Oh, good. I need Will. Hey, Grace. Leo. How you doing, Will? What are you doing here? Oh, please, God, tell me you're not back together. Unless you are, in which case. Yay! <laughs> He's still my emergency contact. What? I thought you told Karen to... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know, you should have probably been her emergency contact even when we were married. Good luck with the test results, Grace. Well, it was, it was good seeing you. What did he mean by that? I think he just meant it was nice to see me, and he understood that my... No, the thing before that. What did you mean by Will being my uh, emergency contact when we were married? Grace, it doesn't matter. No, just say it. You never shared anything with me. You always ran to Will. Wasn't that the problem with our marriage? You can never be in a relationship with me because you're always gonna have this weird thing with Will. Oh, so that's it? I don't get a last word? No, you get the last word by bringing up who gets the last word. Well, how about we're done talking and no one gets the last word? Fine. You did it again. You know what? I want the last word. So you get on that elevator and you stand there silently until the door closes in your face. You know, this is... I, oh, I, oh. <laughs> Last word. Bye, Grace. Ah! What are you doing here, Grace? You and I did not get divorced because Will and I are too codependent or whatever. <laughs> Crap. See, you're still unaware of your wingspan. Well, at least you're not blaming me and Will. Well, technically, you came here to talk about Will, so... You know what, can I just please finish? I'd let you, but you're putting his gallbladder where his liver goes. One drink and he will explode. Stop being charming. You are wrong about our marriage. It did not end because of Will and me. You're absolutely right. I am? I mean, I know I am, but... I am? Grace, it ended because of you. Me? Me? You were the one who joined Doctors Without Borders, met a blonde, and it became Doctors Without Pants. You see, you bring this up every time. Well, it was a big well, deal! That was our first marriage, Grace. The second time, I was in it, okay? I tried, but, but you never let me back in. I couldn't complain because I was the cheater. I, I didn't have a leg to stand on. You're right. I am? I, I mean, I, I know I am, but I am. I tried so hard, Leo. But I just couldn't forgive you. I know you tried. I did. I took up golf for you. I took up golf for you. I hate golf. Can I get back on the cart now? No. How about now? No. Are we the only Jews? Yes. Now I'm sad. We could have not played golf together. I guess we just got our signals crossed. Yes, we did. 
Okay. I guess, um, I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. I, I don't have cancer. I know. I, t I talked to Will. Hey, Grace. You took my heart. You took my heart too, Leo. But I believe that we both are gonna find love again with the person we're supposed to be with. No, I mean, you took my heart from the model. You, you, uh, you put it in your purse. I mean, I, I'm sure it was an accident, but you know, they, they kill you on the replacement parts. You so set me up. We always had that, didn't we? We certainly did. And that ain't nothing. It sure ain't. See you around, Adler. Bye, Leo. Last word. <laughs>